With the addition of the new Move Player Code Blocks, as a creator, you now have the ability to create flying mechanics that you've never had before. I've created a magic wand that lets you fly simply by pointing it in the direction that you want and pressing the index trigger. But it doesn't have to be a wand, you can use any object that you like. In this video, I'm going to show you a super simple two-line script that you can create quickly and easily to show just how easy this is. Then, I will make an even better flying mechanic after that. I'll start by pulling out a new script gizmo and call it Flying. After removing the When World is Started code block, under the Events tab, I will find the When Index Trigger is Pressed code block and bring it over to the left. Next, under the Motion tab, I will find the Set Physical Velocity of Player code block and bring it over, placing it directly under the When Index Trigger is Pressed. This code block is the secret sauce of the flying mechanic. Now, I will simply copy the player pill down to here. As far as the velocity direction, I want that to be the forward direction of the wand. So, under the Operators tab, I will find the Forward Direction code block and drag it into the Vector Pill slot here. Then, from the Values tab, I will drag over the Self Pill and put it here. And just like that, I have a working script. Let me attach this script to the grabbable wand. And also, I want to double check that the forward direction of the wand is easy to see. The forward direction is the Z plus axis, and that is the end with the sphere on it. Don't forget also that the move player code blocks will only work if you have set custom player movement on in the world. So I will go to the world tab, player settings, and set that on here. Let's try it out. The good news is that it works. The bad news is that by default, it only sets my velocity to one. The problem is one isn't very much, so I'm barely moving at all. Let's multiply that number. First, to make my life easier, I will duplicate this code block. Then, under the Operators tab, I will find the multiplication symbol and drag it over, replacing the whole vector pill slot. Now, I will copy the forward direction of self from above into the left side of the multiplication. Now that I've done that, I can delete that code block. Now I need a multiplier. Under the Values tab, I will bring over the number code block and place it into the empty pill slot here. What multiplier should I use? Let's try 10. Wow, this is much better. Boy, I can really launch myself around. Changing the multiplier will change how much the physical velocity will be, so playing around with that number will let you dial in the mechanic nicely. I'm going to leave it at 10. This basically creates a sort of super jump effect. As a result, I have to press the trigger every time I want to recharge the velocity. But what if I wanted to create a constantly active flying mechanic as long as the trigger is being pressed? I can do that! I'll start by pulling out a new script gizmo and call it Mary Poppins. Of course, I won't need the When World is Started code block, so I'll delete that. Like before, the secret sauce will be the set physical velocity of player code block, but this time it will be in a loop that only fires when the controller's trigger is pressed. Let's start by creating a couple of variables. First, I will create a Boolean variable called fly. This Boolean will be true when the player is flying and false when the player is not flying. I also want to create a number variable for the multiplier. That way, I can individually set it for any object that runs the script. You never know when you'll need multiple wands with different power levels. Under the Events tab, I will find the When Index Trigger is Pressed code block and bring it over to the left. Then, under the Values tab, I will find the Set To code block and drag it under the When Index Trigger is Pressed code block. Under the Variables tab, I will bring over the Fly Boolean, putting it in this pill slot. And under the Values tab, I will bring over a Boolean value, putting it here. When the index trigger is pressed, I want it to be flying, so I will change this to true. Now, under the Events tab, I will find the Send Event code block and drag it under the When Index Trigger is Pressed code block. Now, I will create a new event called Fly. This will be the continuous loop that happens as long as the trigger button is being pressed. When the player lets the trigger go, I want to end the flying loop. 
So under the events tab, I will find the when index trigger is released code block and drag it over. Now I will copy this set to code block down and flip the Boolean to false. Now I want to set up the loop. I will start by finding the when event is received code block under the events tab and bring it over. I will need to use an if statement to determine if the player is still flying or not. So I will also bring over an if code block. I need to know if fly is true. So I will copy the fly boolean into that pill slot. Now under the motion tab, I will find the set physical velocity of player code block and drag it under the if. This time, instead of dragging a player pill down, under the Actions tab, I will find the Owner of Object code block and drag it into the Player Pill slot. Then, under the Values tab, I will find the Self code block and drag it into the Pill slot here. Then, under the Operators tab, I will find the Multiplication symbol and drag it into the second Pill slot. Then, under the Operators tab, I will find the Forward Direction code block and drag it into the Pill slot here. Then I will simply copy the self code block into the empty pill slot here. Lastly, I will drag the multiplier variable into the second pill slot here. To complete the loop, I need to send the fly event back to itself. So I will copy that down from here. So now, if the fly boolean is true and the player is supposed to be flying, the physical velocity will be set using the forward direction and a multiplier. This will happen every frame as long as the player is holding the trigger button down. I've attached the script to this one and I've left the multiplier at 10. Wow, this is so cool. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Another idea might be to create the ability to increase or decrease the multiplier, but I'll leave that for another tutorial. I can only imagine what you will do with this mechanic. Leave a comment telling us your ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in Horizon.